everyone, and welcome back to another episode, and I'm a little bit more hyper now. Just a little, you know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Why am I constantly singing weird songs? That is a good question. Anyways, we have a little bit more troops arriving. And... I'm honestly... A slight bit torn on this whole England thing. Because it's like we have... Oh! Whoa, that's... That's cool, I didn't know that would happen. That's really cool. And... Oh, come on! No, oh, it's just almost... Yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay. Come on, crush him. Yes! How many men made it? I was about to say, we had some really good German troops. Alright. So next I'm going to move all you guys to go attack... Bringing... Brighamham? You actually do need that as a victory goal! You actually do need all of this as a victory goal. And we're soon gonna push all the way up to Endensburg. I'm slowly starting to win this battle now, people. Britain is slowly becoming tamed. Um, now I'm gonna go pick up some more troops. Cause now I got... Uh, yeah, it seems like the best way to go about this is to like... is to just attack the Providence beforehand. Or, I mean, have people attacking beforehand, and then also having other people help support an attack. So I'm gonna have everyone support an attack, and I'm gonna have one unit actually attack. And then it looks like I'm losing, but on the other front, Lincoln, I'm winning. You guys actually attacking or are you guys actually all attacking? Well then, that's gonna be a hard fought battle. But we are making progress in Lincoln. We're pushing hard into Lincoln. And I finally realized a strategy that works. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be winning here. The other battle was bringing. Okay, and how does the battle look without my men actually there? And, can and Candlestaff, the battle looks much better without any of my men being there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift all men, or all naval bombers to go start bombarding that to go help the base go start helping our yeah I'm gonna have to rebase a lot of things come on Joe yes and have we almost broken through here yeah it seems like we're about to break through these guys are completely almost useless. I mean, it's, it's almost official. They are almost completely useless. They can't even attack anymore. They're that useless now. And I think we lost that battle right here, so I think I'm going to move all men that were injured in the fight to go right there. And get back and go recruit some more men. Because we have much more men than they do. Which might be our eventual, um, helping hand, I guess. It's the fact that we have so much more men than they do. But that seems to also be destroying us at the same time. It's the fact that our... Wait, can I just combine all these units? 
I'm okay. I'm gonna combine all the non. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna combine all the. You guys into nine units. Right now, I'm gonna combine all the boat. Okay, they actually are in units. Okay, now I'm gonna combine the poles into a unit. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna divide the civilians into a unit. And I'm just going to combine the Austrians into it. Actually, the Austrians are pretty fine. So this is actually what I, what our army looks like now. And the front on Lincoln looks like it's probably gonna break through. That is excellent news. I mean. The guys at Leakin are almost completely defeated. Yep, there we go. And we are just moving on up. I mean, now we have a good holding in England. In all of England, we have a good holding. It's still, it's still very much a battle to the death. But it is becoming less and less of... I'm just gonna have the healthy troops move in and help. Sea battle, and as you can see, we're slowly losing troops over time. And yes, we're gonna destroy that unit. There is no way they can they can counteract that much. Uh, yes, dang it. They still have a bigger army than I expected. That is not your guys' fault, that is my fault. And I have eight units here that I didn't even use. Why? Alright, well I'm gonna have them push help push towards there. I'm gonna have another unit get on the boats and get to Norwich and start docking up, because we need to get some more We need to get some more soldiers on this front. 34 is going after that, the 8 is going after that. We need to get both of these provinces. Only problem is, is that this 3 division is probably going to break us up. And how are we doing on the attack on Kazakhstan? It looks like it's going pretty well. Ah. Just have to push towards a little bit more. Push towards a little bit more. I know I keep saying a lot of push, but this is a lot of push! This is definitely going to be like its own like series of just me pushing towards the eventual conquest of England. Ugh. And it feels like at any point they could instantly go back and revert our success. Which is the sad part. It doesn't seem like we're winning by that much. It really doesn't. It seems like we're just holding on to what we have barely. And I'm going to start combining all of these units too. This is mostly made up of the poles, I just realized that. And actually I haven't seen that many of our troops recently. So that leads me to a conclusion that we're either all dead. Alright, and time to do the Bastions. Alright, just to help us out with... Alright. Let's give you a good guys. Let's give you guys field marshal. I'm having a yeah. This is a little bit easier to manage and to realize who's strong and who isn't. But man, this push towards a new world is not has not been an easy one. Well, actually, to Britain. 
and it's still if this is what the not what the Germans felt but what the uh, but what the British felt when they were trying to move towards Germany this was a hard act I mean you know we're gonna win eventually we know that but it's just like they are fighting us at every turn every opportunity is being driven out longer than it seems to be uh, Now we, these guys can't even attack anymore. They're that weak. Which actually is not a good thing now that I'm thinking about it. Because that means they're going to break at any point. We're almost dead there. How's Calder's staff? Springfield is almost broken. Just a couple more. Yes! Support the attack. Alright. And we're almost to the point where we're about to. Ah. Uh, I don't know. My voice is starting to lose a little bit. This push has been so hard on most of our men. It's like one step forward, two steps back. I don't want to send in any of these guys because they're so damaged that I don't even think they I don't even think these guys will help at all. A if anything, they're gonna just hinder. Let's see. They're helping a little bit, but they're not really helping. Uh so close. And they broke. It must have broken now. Just gonna pull these guys back. These guys are yeah. Uh, effectiveness and everything goes up much more when you guys are not involved. Yeah, we have a much better chance without you guys attacking. But I have to realize why that is happening at some point. For right now, we know not to let these guys engage. So those guys are just going to cause us more trouble. Going to give these guys some supplies. Push them on to here. At some point, Hull should be giving up. I mean, it has all of its... Yes! Hull gave up. I'm just gonna keep all the men right here as reserves and oh my goodness we have conquered two-thirds of Italy can I liberate any nations? I could I could liberate the England and personally at this point I would not I would not mind liberating England alright I know I want to control it but I don't think I could but that is for the next episode. See you guys next time. Hello, everyone. We're recruiting. We're doing another episode back to back. Um, yeah, doing an episode back to back. That's basically self-explanatory. And yeah, I think I'll probably make England. You know, because then we'll probably have more supply lines, and since this will now be like natural habitat. But then again, I want to make Scotland. I want to make Scotland up here, so, I don't know, hmm, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to push much longer into this, so what I'll do, I mean, I conquered England, that's for sure, so, I'm gonna hopefully make it so that this will actually create a united thing, here you go, England, enemy in sight, enemy in sight, and did this actually give us supply runs? Yes, people! This gave us what we wanted. It gave us supplies. 
So now I can actually outfit all my men. And to be fair, they have a pretty bad rating right now, but that's only because they've been bombed by their own people for so long. And when am I going to get the economic strain to reinforce all these guys? Yes. I'll reinforce them as much as possible. But, yes. We're getting supplies from London. Oh, that's good. Now my men can finally heal. So I'm going to actually take a little break right now. From attacking and, you know, defending and all that. And just kind of relax. And, you know, if worse comes to worse, I can always just land somebody over here to make England. But, eh, you know, having a powerful ally, like, I mean, a powerful puppet like England won't be that bad. But, oh my goodness, we did it. We finally got supplies running from here to England. And, for some reason, we're not getting supplies anymore. What the heck? I will be paying any kind of cost... That you guys suffer from this war. I swear it. You guys just give me supplies. I mean, my men are desperately in need of supplies. We have been fighting so long and so hard against the British. It's almost implicable to imagine a time of peace. But you know, I think I might. But where can I amphibious assault? Alright, I'm with you, I'm going to attack here. Oh great, enemy, revolt. So revolt, it came at the worst possible timing. So I think the Germans will probably help me stomp it out, so it's not too much of a worry. Since I have almost all of the rest of Europe fighting this one war against the syndicalists. We are making some progress though. I'm trying to cut off the rest of the supply lines right here. And these guys are pretty... are pretty well acquainted with laws and stuff. And since they are actually, you know, supplied pretty well, uh, this is actually going... This is actually going pretty well! This is our first attack that's actually going well, and I think it's because we're actually getting supplied! Oh, yes! No! Oh no! No! Trat! Trat! <laughs> oh no. That means, people, it's officially. I don't think I could build another army or another ships to bounce it out. We're officially on our own. This is as much army. Well, actually, we still got this transport. This one single transport that somehow has lived and will keep on producing one soldier at a time ineffectively. But it is still more than what we is still doing more than what we need. And I just want to take this moment to say congratulations, Italy. We basically are the new Roman Empire. Or the or the great Holy Roman Empire. I guess we're more the Holy Roman Empire if I really think about it, because we have more of a Balkan German kind of field. Plus farms. Ah, anyways, little historical fact for you. And I'm wondering if this war is actually going to take longer than actual WW2. Hopefully not. I'm, we're pushing as fast as we can to end all hostilities with British troops. You know, I think actually my troops would be a little bit more effective than the ones that they send. I'm going to support right here. Yep, 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 we are. With the new supply limit from London, or Puppet London, we are crushing these guys. Oh, yeah, puppets don't give territory. Oops. Um. Well, then, I think this will be the new England. Right about here will be all of England. And why about here will be Wells? That's actually a good thing, because I was worried about, you know, my vassal becoming too powerful. And Burningham, I'll give the England right now, um, offer 
No, actually I'll do that at the end of the war. Why am I getting ahead of myself? Because I feel so happy because I'm actually making progress! <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've been making some progress. I mean, now we're making extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinarily big grab land. I mean, look how much we've hit. And I'm going to move some of these guys up. To kind of... Victory against the Parzans, I knew that was going to happen. And we have some more army of my own. Which I think most of my army actually died. But that's beside the point. They are still getting crushed by my new Italian force, which is actually basically the old force. It just now is more effective, and it's actually reinforced. Okay, so I'm just going to wait on all these guys. And now, these guys would not be of any use. I'm going to use... Uh, I could try. I doubt these guys are going to do much. Except hinder. Nope, it's actually providing a good front. So I, even with damaged troops now, we now have a good front. And we are crushing these guys. Yeah, they are not going to live. <laughs> Finally, the British line has been broken. And all we had to do was create the, was create the puppetry of Britain. Yes! That means now we can move up the lines. I'll keep some soldiers back though, just to make sure that they don't try any paratrooper drops. Ah! Oh my goodness, this episode is finally the episode where we finally beat back Britain, I hope. Hopefully it won't take that long. Alright. So, we can basically now just attack. We don't even have to like, hold back any of our men. Just the sheer force of this is now crushing through British armies. They no longer have much to to like concern themselves because now they're just basically gonna die. I mean, I have made sure they are going to die. And I think I'm probably gonna have to make some new men. Yeah, so my division's kind of wore out. Seven, make six runs. Uh, 1945 men too. So we should have a better army. But no, we're pushing. We're pushing hard. So, what I'm going to do is have these guys just, just keep on moving up. Just going to keep on moving up. <laughs> uh, let's just go, yeah, let's just go right there. It won't be long now. It won't be long. Yep, not even the last remnants of their army are being are being able to push through anything. And now they are just retreating with all ferociousness. I have officially broken them. And what are the last Oh my goodness, Grass Crow was the last victory moment! Go, 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 take it over, take it over, take it over. Attack! Why am I going up more? Let's just keep attacking. Yes! Yes! And people! It finally... Wait, I can't annex the nation yet. Whoops. <sighs> to be honest with you guys, I really halfway don't care anymore. This... I had defeated England. I have all the major victory points. They just don't have the power anymore to defeat me. The only reason why they're winning is probably because I didn't activate all my men. <sighs> oh, Nelly. Oh no. Okay. Move in. Crush any last resistance. I guess it's gonna be a big hold back. No, no, they're not even gonna have a big hold. Oh my. Yes! Ah, 
Ah, uh, yes. We did it, people. It is an entire year since this since this invasion began, but we finally did it. All of Britney was is ours. Does this mean that I can completely annex them? Probably not. I'm guessing it's the word. Because that means... How many colonies would I have to take over? One. Just a couple over there. You know, for being a big gigantic nation, they don't actually have that many colonies. And I bet I could probably take it over through a little bit of time. But people, I think... I, I don't know how long this episode was, but that was... That did it! We won! Congratulations, everyone! Um, don't... Don't think that this Let's Play is over yet. I still got one more plan before I completely call this Let's Play a quits. But until then, I'm happy that you guys watched me through this. I know I was a little bit cranky at some times, but I'm happy you guys watched me. And, you know, kind of got through my agitation at some points. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.